Hello, it's me, James Loud Jr., and I just want to say thank you to everyone. This is um, the third anniversary of my show, uh, Breaking Into, here on Black Hollywood Live. Unfortunately, I'm not in the studio because I'm on hiatus still. If my voice sounds kind of weird, a little lower than normal. Uh, I have a cold on top of I'm recovering from Bell's Palsy. Uh, if you haven't been following my journey, I got Bell's Palsy, Bell's Palsy about four months ago. <clears throat> my face was paralyzed. It's not paralyzed anymore, but... I'm still recovering. I still have complications from it. I still have things happening with it. So I've taken the time off to heal. And then this week I got a cold out of nowhere. So I'm fighting that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, if you know something else different about me, I have hair. <laughs> I grow hair this time of year because um, it starts getting cold. I go to places that are really cold and snow and just my hair is nice and thick and it helps <laughs> keep the hair going. Um, but the show's been a hiatus for four months, as long, as long as I've had Bell's Palsy. I was just watching the episode I did with Shay Holland. Uh, you can look at that. That's on, that's on YouTube and iTunes. You want to listen to it. Uh, it's on iTunes. You want to see it. It's on YouTube. And boy, do I look a little different. I'm also lost 50 pounds in the last 10 months. So I'm doing that at the same time. Um, but I just, I was watching it. I missed doing the show on a weekly basis. Um, I, the show's on a hiatus until... Um, probably early next year, just early next year. I'll be uh, um, out of out of LA for a while and, and recu recuperating, and I'll be coming back. And I hope to have my stamina so I can start doing shows. I have guests already who want to be on the show. I want to continue. They want to come on the show, so I, that's not the problem. It's just me, me working it out and get myself to a healthy space, to be able to produce a show because I produce it, I write it, I put it together. Um, but I, I but I love the show so much, and I'm so glad that I took it over. Uh, brought it back because it was on for a while for a little bit then it went away and then I brought it back at the help of Daryl Christian thank you so much Daryl um, and uh, Phil Svitek and, and Stephen Lemieux who passed me on to him and let me know that I wanted to work with Black Hollywood Live I've had so many amazing guests and this year I had so many amazing guests and I want to give a shout out to Darcel who is a, a famous dancer from Solid Gold era she's on Solid Gold she was supposed to be my last guest the day I got diagnosed with Bell's palsy she's been wonderful and supportive and uh, when I come back, I have a show ready to, that's probably, that probably might be my first show, but be with her. I'm ready to have her on the show and talk to her. And then we talk to some other people, some other nice people to come on the show. But I'll give a shout out to her. I'll give a shout out to Brianna Phipps for who does all the scheduling and, and, handles, and handles the networks. And she's been so wonderful in terms of working with me. And because I wasn't sure with Bell's palsy, you don't know when you'll get better when you're not it's one of those things just you just it could be two weeks it could be two years doesn't matter but i had to keep putting off kind of um not knowing when i was going to come back and she's been really wonderful as a friend but also just as a scheduler and for the network and i've been so supportive um everyone's been just so great and i'm recuperating and i just want to reflect back on the show the shows are good they're fun they're informative i had such wonderful guests everybody from christina the barge to Mayu mckinley to claude mcknight to my first guest ever joshua silverstein to jeffrey thorne i mean all right just allison faust i mean i've had so many great people on my show jackie long um leticia gabor we just i just i mean just some wonderful people on the show that I, I look back at the episodes and I'm just like, I got a chance to talk to them and have them on my show and talk to them. I'm so proud to bring a positive show out there and put it out there on YouTube. It's, it's, there's no theatrics or crazy pranks or, um, or salacious stuff. It's just people talking and connecting and that's what I do. Um, I talk to almost every guest that I have had on my show still to this day. We talk and converse and, and, and on social media and off social media. They've been wonderful to me since I've been going through this Bell's Palsy um, because we made a connection. And that's what life's about, connection. That's what my show is about. We're breaking into people's lives, breaking into people's thoughts, breaking into people. I've kind of taken the title of just break. You start out as a show you broke into the, a certain industry and you learned about it. I've turned it into now we're breaking into individuals. And I want to thank Kevin Undergar and Maria Menounos who started this whole thing, um, the networks and everything, uh, for the opportunity. And they and they're have been wonderful to me also off camera yeah but I changed it into something where it's now we're breaking into actual people and what they think how they act how they move what makes them tick um, what makes them laugh makes them cry you know my interviews I I've been known to cry <laughs> when I interview you no shame there of course um, but I just really want to take a time out to say thank you it's having my third anniversary of doing this 
I missed doing the show for the last four months, but I will be. I'm, I'm going to be back. I'm telling you, I'm going to be back. I'm going to be back. This is, this is not the end of James Law Jr. Um, breaking into. We're going to do this. Um, working hard to get back. But I want to yeah, thank um, everyone who's watched, everyone who's viewed. People are still viewing them, commenting. Go back and take a look at the episodes. Some great. It's, I mean, it's like 160 something episodes. They're great. Take a look at them. See what you think. Um, share the ones you think people should, should, you know, people should really you know, talk to. Um, you can follow me, of course, at James Lott Jr. You can follow Black Hollywood Live on all social media platforms and on all platforms where you can hear and see podcasts. I mean, they are, they're on iTunes, they're on SoundCloud, they're on, they're on YouTube. And then I have my own channel, JLJ Media, and my own Facebook page breaking into. You can go there and see more episodes, see what's going on with my guests. They're on the show. I kind of follow up with them, what's going on with them. And also, you can, um, and I have a play. I have a playlist for breaking into, so you can see all my episodes all in one. They're all there, and you can watch. And also, I want to do a little shout out to this, my sister show, um, Conversations. I've done a few episodes, like I did in Vogue and Jasmine and Jasmine Lewis, and people who who still who also have been on my regular show too. have been wonderful. I want to make a shout out to them because um, that show was good for me also. And it's, it was a very similar vibe to Breaking Into, so I did a few of those. And there's a playlist in my on my YouTube channel on that too. I play this for every single thing I do. I have playlists. You know, I'm an organizer by trade, so everything's in order. <laughs> very easy to very easy to navigate on my page. Um, but again, thank you so much. I hope I can be on for a, another three years and continue to bring you great guests, have something to say, um, something to share. And I just want to say thank you. I'm very I'm very blessed. And cheers to the show. <laughs>